Hey, what's going on guys? It's MCuba, and in this video, I will be setting up my GAN C56X. I'm using a towel as I don't want my cable to get all looby. So, let's get right into it. Step 1. Disassemble the puzzle. Now, take a tissue or towel and wipe every single piece such that all of the existing loop will be removed. Before putting each GS in, put a generous amount of weight 5 or any type of core loop inside the GS and put some on the center cap too. Do this for a total of 6 GS. Tension everything fairly evenly. You don't want to make the cube too tight or too loose. Here are my current tensions. Now, reassemble your cube. When you assemble one layer, or to this point, put two drops of a slightly heavier loop on the base of two, two diagonal corner pieces, and put another two drops on the tracks. After assembling your cube to the second layer, it's time to loop it again. If you only have one type of loop, use the same loop as you used before. But if you have more than one type of loop, loop i suggest using a slightly lighter loop do the exact same thing as before but with a lighter loop i'm using martian from speedcubeshop.com now you've completed looping your cube time to break it in This feels mighty nice. Corner cutting is right past that 45 degree mark. This line, this line, still can corner cut. The tensions are pretty perfect. The strongest magnets available were the clear ones and I did put that inside of the cube. The magnet strength feels just about right for this loop combo. The best way to work the lubin is to give it a few scrambles and a few solves. Alright, so that's it for today's video where I set up and loot my GAN T56X. If you found this video either enjoyable or useful, please leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bells so that you get notified whenever I make any new videos. Thanks for watching.